Hi friends. Well, today's video is going to be checking in on a construction project that I went and looked at exactly a year ago. Uh, my friend Sergio is building a duplex at the very highest street in Ajijic, Mexico. Tremendous uh, view of the lake and the mountains across the across the lake from there. And uh, it's going to take him a couple of years to finish this house, probably. And I think I'll make an ongoing series about it. We'll check in about every six months and see how he's doing. Uh, today will be a year that he's been at it, but uh, it hasn't been a, con a whole year of construction. Um, he's had some uh, difficulties with... Uh, a number of different things and he's not actually living here yet he's from uh, California and uh, construction was halted for many many months in the past year for a number of reasons but um, what you're looking at today is probably three months worth of progress not a year's worth of progress even though it's been a year um, since uh, we took a look at it anyway Let's go see what's going on up at the top of Ahihik. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. It's quite the uh, big house project going on here. My friend Sergio's project, and it just keeps going on and on and on. So last time I was here, this wall wasn't here, or it wasn't this high. There's Sergio. Hey. Hey, Mr. Uh, Bear Jerry, how are you today? What are you doing, flying your drone? I'm gonna fly the drone, oh, get it's some over good there. shots of the house so huh. your followers can see the uh, progress coming along. Looks like a, quite a bit of progress. Last time you showed up, you had to climb up a makeshift ladder to get up there. That's true. No garage. Yeah. No uh, up room, which will be a gym. Getting some paint on the walls finally. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing it. The house we're looking at today is being built by Sergio. He has the sunglasses. Rico, with the hat, has a house on the other end of the block that he's renovating to make it into a rental. We'll come back another time and check on the progress Rico's getting done. This was the state of the house a year ago when we first looked at Sergio's project. No roof on the top floor. That wall we walked past on the way in was only half as tall. And what is now a garage below and a gymnasium above was just a hole in the ground on this corner of the house. These are drone shots. They're putting the latex sealer coat on the new concrete there. He's building a duplex. He's going to live in the top part, and the lower level there will be rented out. Maybe long term, maybe short term. There's going to be a gymnasium on his level, a woodworking shop. Down there below in the driveway, you can see maid's quarters. So counting the Mirador, which we're looking at now, there will be four levels to the house. All of this will be surrounded by a railing so people don't fall off. And he's going to have a full kitchen, barbecue area, bathroom. And that's where the parties will be, I hear. It's got to stay on the same level, otherwise yeah. it looks like yeah. you're a midget. <laughs> 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 this is... <laughs> we have our faces in the shadow. We have to yeah. turn around. Be oh, do we? <laughs> well, we can't get the view. But okay. So, okay. Well, there's a. 
That's better. There we go. So this is Sergio, and uh, I'm back. We, I was here. We were here a year ago, and we've come to see the progress on his construction yeah. project of a seven bedroom. How many baths? Eight bedrooms, uh, eleven bathrooms. Eleven bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got to go, you got to go, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a quick tour from the Mirador here and uh, go on down through the house and give you a view of um, the progress in a year. This is the view we tried to give you from the roof here, the Mirador, and uh, it didn't work because our faces were in the shadow, but yeah, beautiful. So every Mirador needs a bathroom. Sergio's gonna have a full bath in here for uh, the parties that are gonna go on up here, right? Yeah. Uh, fiestas. You come downstairs and uh, this will be a gymnasium. This will be your workout room, gymnasium. I don't know, come on, Sergio. It's not big enough to call it a gymnasium. It could be a, it could be a workout room, exercise room. Yeah, but if you can imagine a treadmill here with the view there. A treadmill here with yeah. that view. Yeah, wow. And the nice part is that this, this bedroom has this private long balcony. Yeah. yeah. So that's a balcony for that bedroom. Wow. So you'll come downstairs this way, Jerry. This didn't exist last time. So this is all new. Yeah, where I'm standing was is the garage below, right? But that this wasn't here last yeah, time. This is one full uh, bedroom with a complete bathroom. Yeah, this one was pretty much like this, except you didn't have the walls finished. I think it was just still bricks. And those are in. Sorry for the echo, guys. But uh, we also got, I don't know if you got to see the uh, Bobada. Oh, this was uh, just open to the sky when I was here. Right. Nice job. So washer, dryer to the right, pantry to the left. Yeah, uh, there'll be some lights running along the side so you can turn on the lights. Uh, we're gonna get yeah. the uh, reflection of the ceiling. Wow. Uh, you're trimmed on the bubble here. Uh, there'll be a light inside. Another boat. There's a light out of the way. I'm gonna have a fan inside. There's a hole in the room. Got my sliding doors in uh, for remote today. Uh, within the next two or three weeks, there should be some railings there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So, floors are coming in within the next three or four weeks. So, I know this hasn't gone as rapidly as you think, and nothing ever does when you're doing this kind of a big project, but... So, so remember, Jerry, you yeah. talked about this house being done in October. Right. October last year, but as you know, <laughs> the truth here. <laughs> so you have to learn to work with the contractors. And the way I did it, like the garage that didn't exist. Yeah. I told the guy, how much are you going to charge me for this garage? He gave me a call. I'll be very careful with your code. Mm -hmm. If you need any more money, don't bother me. So a couple days later, there was a tree back there. Yeah. <laughs> he called me about the tree. You got to be tough with them because or else they walk all over you. Yep. So what happened was he called me and said they're charging 15,000 pesos when we moved the tree. I told him, did you not see the tree when you gave me an estimate? I'm going to take it down with your teeth. Don't bother me. And after that, we haven't had any issues. But he wanted 50,000 to remove the tree? 15,000 pesos to remove the tree. Well, 15,000. 15,000 pesos. Well, I can, that, that might be an okay yeah, price, no, no, but no. It, it, it should have been part of the quote in the it first place is your quote. Well, That's why yeah. I said you have to learn to deal with them. He didn't bother me anymore after that. After that, we did the uh, gym. Mm -hmm. We did the uh, uh, the complete bathroom up above. Right. And we're going to put pieces of it together. But I would recommend anybody who's building a home here get a contract and get a contract going and just pay him as he goes. You know, I've done extensive construction remodeling at my place, but um, I started with a contractor. Yeah. And after, I don't know, a couple of months, well, I just fired them all and became the contractor myself. Well, you can do that too, I think. Mean, but, yeah. so but I was there. I was living in the house I was renovating. So how did it go with the yeah, people that you hired? Any problems with them? Well, some, but I was learning too. So I'll tell you a story. One day, 
you know, they mix stuff down on the floor, the cement, right? right. And they're doing the roof. Right. And I'm saying, well, geez, I've mixed a lot of cement in my life. Why not? And so I go in and say, why don't you, uh, I'm talking to the maestro. I said, why don't you go take the, the cement up there, the dry cement, and the grava, the gravel, and the arena, the sand, and then take the hose, and the city will pump the water up there, which is a little over one third of the weight. Right. He says, oh, buen idea. So he goes up the ladder and he's talking to the guys, and he comes back down and he says, they don't do it that way. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn to work with your guys. Yeah, well, hey. There's been a lot of work finishing these walls off like that. Automatic garage door. Yeah, so the door, the garage, when when I was here before, we crawled up a ladder yeah. into there, right? A ladder right up here, a old rickety wooden ladder. Yeah. And now you have a garage. You said a three car garage. You must have small cars. <laughs> be a two car now. Uh, again, you don't get, my wishes didn't all come true. Sure. Uh, and then there's a, a, a entrance to the kitchen there. So we can walk this way, go into the... Uh, oh, so you bring the groceries, yeah, yeah. instead of carrying them up and yeah. around and through the house. Yeah, and this will be uh, glassed in, both of them. We hit the glass so we don't use the uh, view from this bedroom. Wait, we're still on the top, right? Um, no, now we're down below. I've gotten, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't. Yeah, so this is the uh, bottom unit, front door. You got me confused for and, a minute. And if you remember right, Jerry, that wall right. that high. Well. Uh, it grew by about 10 feet. I think in my video, if I remember right, I suggested making yeah. it a little higher so you cover up the view of that. Exactly. Right. Yeah, Looks good. Oh, good. Uh, there's a little <laughs> small rail yeah. along the top. It's already set up for that. And your uh, friend's going to do the railing on the side so nobody falls over and kills himself. I'm surprised nobody's fallen off and got hurt at this point. Yeah, well, fortunately, you're in Mexico. If they fall off, it's their fault. Yep. <laughs> so this will be um, either a, a rental, maybe long term, maybe, yeah. maybe a short well, term, brother's maybe brother's maybe here. your brother. Moving here, it'll be uh, Arabic. Mm -hmm. So each room here has got its own bathroom. Mm -hmm. And how many? Bathroom. And there are three. So you got three bedrooms here. Uh -huh. and there's one down below. Well, hey, this is going to be a great rental space. I, I wanted to ask Sergio why. Are you building this house? Well, I'm getting close to retirement. Yeah. And I'm uh, not going to wait to 62. I'm going to 59 and a half. I'm moving. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not 59 and a half yet? Nope. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm working on it, Jerry. <laughs> it's coming along, whether I like it or not. But yeah. Well, I'm a couple of years ahead of you. Just by slight. slight. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm catching up. Here. So you're going you're gonna to retire soon. You're building a retirement home. That's what I'm doing, Jerry. Yeah. So um, I came from San Jose, California. I used to own the mobile home. Yeah. So the mobile home part, if you think about numbers, it was $1,300 a month just for the rental space. Right. I outright owned my mobile home at that point, but at retirement age, that's over half of my retirement check. Okay. So I thought it'd be wise to sell the mobile home, which I did. Cash to them, but pretty good money out of it. Yeah. And then I'll look right up. So I think I did the right decision was the move, right? Well, wait, wait a minute, you moved from a mobile home um, to a custom home. To how many bedrooms and baths? So I know I don't need a home this big, but uh, what I did, I built a duplex. Yeah. Eight bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, um, and it's a producing uh, uh, income. Probably. Sergio and I talked about a lot of things, including a lot of details about his background and more of the reasons why he's building a retirement home in Mexico. And uh, it was a great 
conversation, but the construction noise got too bad and started drowning us out. So we'll talk to Sergio another time and get the rest of the story. Uh, Speaking of who you hang out with, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> well, Jerry, my new buddy, LM. <laughs> We're going to be inviting you guys over to quite a few barbecues. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to the yeah. ongoing construction process of your house. We'll do it a few times a year. Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to take you about five years to finish this. Well, no, God willing. <laughs> this, and we're laughing because if you guys watched our last video, I told Jerry, oh, the, car, the house will be ready by October. And that was last August. And, and it, we, it wasn't. Well, so, uh, but... Um, I learned how to work with the contractors. Yeah. So we're just going step by step. I believe by the time I leave this October, I should have some floors down. Yeah. As you can see, the house is being painted. The house won't be finished till I get back, uh, God willing. Um, I would say sometime 2025. Yeah. But, you know, um, hopefully your followers love this video, uh, like the house. I would highly recommend if you are thinking of moving and relocating, take a look at Mexico. Not necessarily like Janet said, we don't want you guys all here in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of places in well, Mexico. Well, there's a lot of places in Mexico uh, that I've been looking around that have beautiful weather. Uh, the lifestyle will be the same. Uh, your, your retirement check will definitely uh, 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 multiply double over here. and You should be able to live a good, comfortable rest of your life. Well said, Sergio. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.